guys, my name is Lucy and welcome to my channel. If you are new here, please do hit subscribe. I would love to have you back for more of my videos. And if you enjoyed this video, please do smash a big thumbs up to let me know. Today, I thought I would tackle the topic of video auditions. Quite a lot of you guys have been messaging me on Instagram asking about this. If you guys don't follow my Instagram yet, I'll put it on screen here. It's probably the best way to contact me. I'm always checking my DMs, answering your guys' questions and just giving you any kind of advice that you need. As I said, today I'm talking about video auditions. Obviously, this is very relevant at the moment because a lot of your guys' auditions have been cancelled and you're being asked to send video auditions or to postpone your auditions for a really long time. So, I just thought I'd take this video to try and like calm your guys' nerves and just give you some advice on what I think you should do to approach this. If you didn't already know, I actually auditioned for my foundation course via a video audition because I lived abroad and I didn't have time to go back because I was halfway through my A-levels. So, I have already done a video audition that went successfully. So, hopefully that means that I can give you guys some advice on what I did. So without further ado, let's get into the video. As always, if you guys have watched my videos before, I've written loads of notes on my phone and I'm just going to talk through them for you. At first, I thought I would just go through the general setup of your video and the things that are probably worrying you. So the first thing is location of your video. A lot of you guys have been saying that you don't know where to do it because can you really film your drama school audition in your garden or in your living room or in your bedroom? Do you need to go to a dance studio and do it properly? Absolutely not. Drama schools are fully aware of the situation that's going on in the world, so they will fully expect you to be doing your audition in your living room or in your bedroom or in your garden. And on that topic, they're going to know that you're not going to have a full-on dance studio in your house and that you're not going to have much space. And this isn't ideal circumstances, so they will fully take that into consideration. You're certainly not going to be penalised because you don't have space in your living room to do a full-on hitch kick and backflip. Talking about your setup, I would say it's important that the panel can see your full body, even for singing and acting. If you can, I think this is really good because you need to be able to show that your body is connected to the performance. You don't want to be a floating head or a floating torso singing a song. You need to connect your whole body and if you're in the audition, the panel will be able to see you fully. So I think if they can see you head to toe, that would be ideal. But again, if this is not possible in your space, please do not stress that you're not going to get penalised for this. Personally, I would say film on your phone. Obviously, if you have a camera, then film on that, great. But so many iPhones, Samsungs, they have amazing cameras. Literally, get your mum, your dad, your brother, your sister to film on your phone your performance. Now, if you do want the filming to maybe look a bit more professional or slightly steadier, this is not essential at all, but you can pick up a really small phone tripod on Amazon for about 10 to 15 pounds. This is the phone tripod that my dad bought for me when I was filming my auditions. It's not very stable, but it did the job. I've got the camera attachment on it just now, but it will come with a phone attachment. You clip your phone in and you're ready to go. This one also has a little Bluetooth remote that you can connect to your phone, but to be honest, if you've got one person in your house, they can click record for you. One thing I would suggest is if you're filming on your phone, film on your back camera rather than the selfie camera. I know it might be misleading that you can't see yourself, but honestly, the back camera is so much better. <laughs> So for singing, I'm assuming that schools have asked you to perform one or two songs for your video. I'm assuming most of you have a backing track from YouTube for your song or one that maybe a singing teacher has made for you and then you can just perform using that. Don't worry about the YouTube backing track being a bit dodgy and not maybe being the best quality. Again, the schools know that this is a weird situation and you're having to make the most out of it. If for any reason you don't have a backing track for your song, there are accounts and stuff on Instagram that will make you backing tracks. You do often have to pay, so bear that in mind. But I suppose that's a toss up between do you pay for a backing track or do you change your audition song? And that's unfortunately a decision that you're just going to have to make. When you're singing, I would personally say don't perform straight into the camera lens because that just feels a bit unnatural if you're like literally eyeballing the camera and singing to the panel. Because in a face-to-face -face audition, you wouldn't eyeball them and sing straight to them. You would sing out as if you were on a stage. So personally, I would say go with that as well. Try and forget the cameras there and just perform out as if you were in the audition room. <laughs> So acting, I'm assuming the schools have asked you to prepare a monologue, whether that be Shakespeare, contemporary, or maybe both, depending on the school. Again, same like singing, I would say don't perform your monologue straight into the camera. It'll seem very unnatural and not very connected. Again, in an acting audition, you wouldn't eyeball the panel to do your audition speech. 
Personally, when I was doing my video audition, I got my mum to stand on the other side of the camera and I performed the monologue to her. Maybe if you have two people in the scene that you're talking to, you can rope in your brother and sister and you can perform it to them. I personally just feel performing to another human being is always so much easier than performing into thin air. And although this is not a luxury you'd have in a normal, like, face-to-face -face audition, you might as well make the most of the situation you have, and if you can perform to someone, why don't you? However, on that note, make sure they're not in camera shot, the audition is all about you and the panel only want to see you. Now, moving on to dance, probably the one most of you are most stressed about, because it is probably the one that's hardest to do at home. I know some schools have just asked you to make up your own dance before something you know already, and some schools are sending out video dances. If the school has sent you out a video with a dance to learn, amazing, you can learn that, practice it, and perform it to the best of the ability that you can in the space that you have. Remember, if you don't have space to do that triple pirouette into a hitch kick, into a box jump, the school is not gonna penalize you. They're gonna be able to see that your sofa's in the way and that you don't have space. Personally, I would say for dance, if you have space, do it in your garden, because that's generally going to be a more open space than you have indoors. If the school doesn't send you a dance and they're asking you to do something that you already know or that you have to make up, then just don't worry about the technique, I would say. They're, if they're asking you to send any dance, they're not worried about seeing you do a triple pirouette and a backflip. They really want to see your performance quality, your love for performance, and that you're just like making the most of this situation. Personally, if I were you guys, I would do a dance that I knew already just because I'm not most comfortable at choreographing. However, of course, if you love choreographing and there's things that you want to show off, that's your chance to show them off. And finally, I would say this applies to all three disciplines. Don't spend a week filming each one 7,000 times because you will drive yourself mental. There's always going to be something that you don't like about each take. I really do hope this video has been helpful for you guys. If you have any more questions, please do leave them in the comments down below and I'll be sure to get back to you or message me on Instagram or anything if any of you need to chat about auditions and you're worried. I'm always here to help and I love chatting to you guys. As I said before, if you did enjoy this video, please do smash a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and I'll hopefully see you again very, very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye!